So then we're coming to the next part. Uh, the resurrection of Christ. Jesus was buried in a tomb by Joseph of Arimathea. Um, now it's important to note that if a historian has two or three sources about a, 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 a something in history, then that gives it pretty good evidence that that event actually happened. There are four sources about Jesus dying and being buried in a tomb. Uh, sorry, about being buried in a tomb by Joseph of Arimathea. So that gives you good historical evidence. It says, when it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was also a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given him. So Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn in the rock. And he then rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb and went away. Now this is in Matthew 27, verse 56, 7 to 60. Mark chapter 15 verse 42 to 47, John chapter 19 verse 38 to 42, Luke chapter 23 verse 50 to 56. So it's such good evidence that even a, a scholar who's not evangelical, renowned Cambridge scholar John A. T. Robinson of Cambridge University says the burial of Jesus is one of the more certain of uh, facts about the historical Jesus. So there we